So, Sierra Leone. Eleven years of civil war killed at least 50,000 people and forced half a million from their homes. Diamonds, right? Rebel fighters enslaved locals to dig for so-called blood diamonds. Natural disasters. We've just been to the site where the mudslide happened on Monday. The number of the missing is still unknown. A crowd of people had gathered near a fuel tanker that had been involved in a collision. A bus full of people nearby was completely burned. Health crisis. Go to the deadly Ebola outbreak. The world is losing the fight against Ebola. Rape and gender-based violence. Five-year-old Kedi Jasoko was raped and killed in Sierra Leone in June. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, I therefore declare rape and sexual violence as national emergency. What if I told you there is a different Sierra Leone than what the media has led us to believe? This is Sierra Leone. Good morning, it is day 22 of the 520 mile walk and it's about 6.30 this morning. I do believe we overslept, but we will be walking with the sun the entire day, which will be nice. And I do think some of us needed the extra rest. Today, we are not sure how far we are going. We know that we have about 70 miles until our final destination later this week but between the town we're in now to the town that we're going later this week, we don't really know what the next biggest village is or anywhere that's really willing to take us. So we're kind of throwing darts at a dartboard and hoping something sticks today. I do hope though that we just push and get between 25 and 30 miles done. Also today, we have another manatee, Mr. Whiskers. Mr. Whiskers came to the family last year, right around Christmas, which I was not here for. I was in Sierra Leone, so it's not back in the US, but I got Mr. Whiskers as a gift as soon as I got home from my mother, and he has been one of the foundational members of the Manatee team since. His whiskers are absolutely wonderful, and he has been a fan favorite. So far, this is his first trip to Sierra Leone, and he has been having a great time meeting with the locals, talking with the different chiefs, and ultimately just taking in the views. He also went to Iceland this summer, and I haven't really asked him what his favorite part of this trip has been or whether or not he's like this more than Iceland, but he has just always had a smile on his face the entire time, and today he wants to walk with us, so I'm excited to bring him out and let him come along for the journey. But with that being said, I'm gonna pack everything up and we are gonna head onto the road and hopefully get another 25 to 30 miles in today. These hills that we are walking down are so unbelievably steep. All I can say is that I am just so grateful that I'm walking and not driving the bikes with all the stuff on it because, I mean, even this one right here, it probably doesn't look like it on the GoPro or the camera, but the hill is literally just like angled like that, like straight down. And the one behind me that we just came down was like even more steep uh, and the bikes are still at the top. I think they're trying to figure out the best way to get down, but I don't know, I don't even want to watch. I'm too nervous. So we are about five miles in and we just stopped in a village and we are gonna eat some rice and it sounds like we are having sake, which is cassava leaf. So you know it's gonna be a good day when we're starting out with cassava leaf.
kid is scared of me. Kind of feel bad. Not sure really what I should do. So, I don't know. So after a really good breakfast, we are back on the road. I believe it's three miles to the next village and we will probably shoot past that. So far we're five and a half miles in, so I'm hoping that we do another 20 plus miles today so that we can get to at least 25 uh, because I really am thinking that we can shoot to get to the town that we want to, which I always forget the name every single time I start talking to the camera. I forget the name of the town, so give me one second to think. It's not Kabbalah, it's... What's the town that we're going to, the big one? I always forget the name. Uh, Kamakui. Kamakui. I don't know why it's so hard for me, but that's it. Kamakui. Kamakui. And that's where we're heading. It's probably about 40, 50, maybe more miles, but Kamakui is where we are trying to head. We're gonna try to shoot to get there Wednesday. Who knows, maybe we'll make it there tomorrow, and hopefully I'll remember the name at one point. I just went to the bathroom in the bush and now the team is coming so I'm gonna try to scare them again. Let's hope it works. <laughs> Easy. So we are now at a point where everyone from this village is fixing the road. Um, someone recognized us from the walk earlier this year, which is really cool um, that they recognized me from doing it back in January, but now they're all kind of standing here looking at me as I talk to my camera. Uh, the team is a bit far back. I don't know exactly how long they will be, but we're just gonna hang out here. They're also trying to charge us 30,000 Leones, which is $3 to get through, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. Uh, and Kenny Tom also has a flat tire. So there's that. So a couple issues and everyone is still staring at me. I'll show you. <laughs> but you know, that's normal for being here. A lot of people look and are confused as to why I'm talking to the camera, but we're gonna hang here and wait for the team to show up and then continue on our way. Don't ask me. I not ask me. Don't 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 over whether or not we have to pay to get through the road. Uh, this is always fun for me because I don't really know what's being said, but I just like to sit and listen. So I think we're getting through without paying. But I have no idea. We're still arguing and laughing. So, I don't know, having a good time. <laughs> Come on, 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 come on,
Alright. Alright. Go to Nabianda. Good. Okay. Alright, so this is I wanna call it only name. Okay, so here we are uh, approaching Kamaya Toto and um, we met the folks. Okay, your camera is up. Oh, probably died. Yeah. Oh no, it's still going. It just goes dark. Oh, uh, okay. And um, we approached uh, a lot of folks here who are just making the road. Um, and it's a lot of compliments for just young people coming together, looking at the road situation and volunteering to make the road for themselves. It's a clear testament that the government has probably just neglected, forgotten about these folks in this part of the country. As we have walked from Jendema all the way to uh, Freetown, it's clear that something needs to be done across this country to improve the road condition. And as you can see, the road condition is in a terrible, terrible state. Um, a lot needs to be done. Thank you. Hello, pets. Where's <laughs> man? Like I said before, I'm so glad I am walking because driving those bikes is a very dangerous task. Yeah, see no man, this, this. But I look at a man this. He can force. Yeah, very crazy. Yeah, very crazy. Yes. So when we were back at the hill, Hindlo said that he believes that we should stay here tonight. And upon talking to the rest of the team, it seems that everyone else says that we are together in consensus that we should not sleep here tonight. And so we are going to have a discussion as a team and Hindlo is gonna state his reasons for why we should stay. But I believe if we hold strong as a team and say that we need to continue pushing forward, we can. My reason behind this is if we stay today, day 22, in whatever village we're getting to, we have only done about 12 miles, which 12 miles is nothing. In what we are doing in this walk, we are trying to average 20 to 25, even 30 miles every single day. 12 miles does not cut that, and we need to continue pushing ourselves because this has not yet really been a challenge aside from the hills this morning. Also, if we stay here tonight in this village, <coughs> <coughs> bug. I swallowed a bug. Also, if we stay here in this village tonight, it will take us longer to get to Komakui. I finally remembered the name. And if it takes us longer to get to Komakui, it's going to take us longer to get to Freetown. Our original date that we had set was December 10th, but we have talked about pushing to make it there by December 4th, which will give us extra time to meet with the community, as well as have post-walk interviews and have meetings with our partner organizations because I do leave the country on the 16th. And if we finish on the 10th, that gives us a lot more limited time. So hopefully we can discuss as a team and come to a consensus is that we need to continue pushing on this evening for at least another 10 to 15 miles so that tomorrow we can wake up at 3 a.m. and push all through the morning and even into the afternoon and hopefully reach Komakui either tomorrow night or very, very early Wednesday morning so that we can continue on and start heading to Port Loco in the last leg of this walk. So we have rested as a team and we had a good long discussion and have come to a conclusion about how we are going to move forward. Originally, Hindela wanted to stay in this village and had the idea that the bike drivers would head out this afternoon back all the way near where the car is because we have left a good half of our stuff there from when the truck broke down. But I was saying that we all want to push on away from the village and not sleep here. So. This is what we have agreed upon. This afternoon at 3 p.m., we are gonna head out for another 10 to 12 miles and sleep wherever we can find. Then in the morning at 3 a.m., we are going to head out again and push all the way till about noon, which will bring us to another 18 to 22 to 25 miles. But also in the morning, the bike drivers are going to head out all the way back 
and grab our stuff. But the way they're gonna go is they're gonna go to Komakui, which is where we're heading, because then once they're in Komakui, they can take the tar road to McKinney, back to Kabbalah, and then back to where the stuff is. And it will take a day trip. They probably will not get back till the evening, but that will ensure that all of our stuff is back with us in Komakui, so that it's a lot easier to get to after the walk, or at least it's close to us that we can go back and forth and get it. So I'm glad we reached a conclusion. I feel for the bike drivers because they have a lot of work ahead for them, but all of us in this have a lot of work for us, whether we're walking or driving the bikes, and it is a team effort. So I'm just glad that we were able to reach this kind of agreement as a team and able to push forward. So I'm gonna rest now for a little bit and then I will check back in once we get back on the road in a couple hours. So I've just rested for about an hour and a half and when I woke up we met the town chief and had a conversation with him expressing why we were here and what we were doing. I was gifted a chicken which was quickly taken away from me and began being prepared for dinner which I was sad um, but you know I got to meet it and take a picture with the chicken. It was very nice chicken but now apparently there is a monkey in town that they wanted to show me, the community wanted to show me so now we are headed to see the monkey. So. For being a very small village that we did not think much would happen, there's been quite a bit of excitement that has been happening here today. And although the chicken was taken from me rather abruptly and quickly, I'm glad I get to see a monkey. So that will be very fun. Bobby, Bobby. Hey. Hey, nice Bobby. 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 Wow. Shake man. Okay, shake man. Shake man. We're allowed to go. I want to play. So a little update, we didn't leave the town at three o'clock and we were cooking food, which took a long time. So ultimately after all that, we decided that we're just gonna stay just because it got too late. But now we are playing a game where we have two bottles on 10,000 Leones, which is essentially $1. And they are trying to get the dollar out from the bottles without touching the bottles. No, 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 <laughs> no, the only thing you can touch here is the money. You cannot touch this. You cannot touch this. The only thing you can touch is the money. The only thing you hand, but only touch the money. If they jack on a one thing, they jack up. And the bottom, and the bottom of the room. The bottom of the room. You have to pull very hard. Very fast. The bottom of the room. This is Nicobo. This is Nicobo. And they are single wiping the room. Would I be able to? Why is the room? I want to be the room. 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 Why is the room? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Put down. Put down. Why is the room? No, no, no. <laughs> you can only pull it out if you jack in it only once. No, I don't touch. Don't touch bottle. Ah, the tongue. Ah, stop. Don't touch. No, no, no. There's a video. The video happened. It's still recording, but your thumb moved the bottle. No, wait. Yeah, I see. Hey, Mister. Oh, these are two. What are you doing? These are rogue over. 10,000 euros. You can pull it out. You know the command, you call the weight, the, the pressure. You know the command. No, no, no. You know the command. You know the command. You know the command. You know the command. You know the No. 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 There's video. There's video. Dusty, dusty. No, no, dusty. So, you know Jack Castle? You have to pull very fast. Anyhow you pull, it's gonna still fall. Uh, you hand out touch the bottle. Hey, Mr. Come on, come on. Let me try. No. Other people, they let them come. Go ahead. The law, the law not this. Come on, come on. Let, let other people, they can try. 
put this 10,000 now. Mm. <laughs> if you pull the 10,000, you have to pull. Oh! <laughs> if you ever pull the 10,000, you, you not touch the bottle. The bottle won't fall You not touch the bench. Now you get the 10,000. The road ballast chest. Got a magnet chest. Got a run in the go, in the go. Yeah. 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 So with all that crazy business, now we're done. Today has been an interesting day. We only did 12 and a half miles, which I wish we would have done more. But upon pulling up to this village and thinking that it was a very small village and that we didn't really want to stay here, to then being gifted a chicken and meeting Bobby the monkey, to then seeing the man pull the 10,000 Leones out from under the bottle, it's been very interesting. And honestly, I've had a good time. So I think I'm just gonna cut today here um, and set everything up so I can sleep and get a good night's rest so that tomorrow we can wake up at 3 a.m. and head out. The boys will be heading back to where all the stuff is tomorrow, which is a good four or five hour trek for them. So I wish them the best of luck because that is a very, very long hike, but I'm hoping that tomorrow we can walk at least 20 to 25 miles. And once we get going in the morning, I will check back in. So I hope you have a good night and I hope that you've been enjoying our journey thus far.